Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, I broke out another old plane. This is the EPP jet. Um, this thing was built in 2009, so what is that, about 11 years old. Um, this is the first plane that we had that uh, me and Frank recorded, the, recorded with the radar gun that went over 100 miles an hour. Um, I think it clocked 104 miles an hour <laughs> way back then, and that was only with a Grayson Hobby Super Mega Jet. Um, I changed the motor out. I've got the Cobra Race Wing motor. This is the same motor that I had on the Aurora a little while back. <laughs> I was going super fast and I crashed it. stuffed in the ground. Huh? Um, I did a watt meter test yesterday. It was pulling about 1400 watts on a 5S LiPo battery pack. Um, it's a 2200 milliamp battery. Uh, I got the GPS on here, so hopefully we can uh, get it flying, get it leveled out, and then hopefully see how fast it goes. And that one's got a nice thin wing too, right? Yeah, it's Paul's a 15 millimeter 15 millimeter EPP uh, with the Henry's weave on there to make it nice and stiff. Um, I redid the vertical stabilizers and the Elevons. Those used to be foam board, but I made them out of balsa and taped them up um, with some strapping tape so they're hopefully nice and uh, more solid. So throw it in the air, see what happens. Hey, that thing sounds nutty, dude. I don't know, it sounded like it was cut What down, was the so stuttering, man? That was the ESC. Ooh. Were you losing timing or something yeah, or what? So. Things sound like it was zinging though. Yeah, it was. You got some roll to the left. <laughs> what prop are you running on that? 6.5 six by 6.5 six pylon racer prop. Okay, so I got a little bit of roll. Let me uh, get it trimmed out get first. Trimmed out. Then and then do a glide test, make sure you get it right. Yeah, this one uh, was a kind of the precursor plane to the uh, Supernova. Um, I think I did build it af after the regular Nova jet, if I remember right. I don't know, it sounds like that ESC can't keep up. Oh, my hair plane. I think that's the paragliders. Yeah, it's paragliders. Okay, I still haven't gone full throttle. You might have to walk it up if it's yeah. doing that stuttering. Yeah, it's stuttering out. So I may have to change out the CSC. Um, this is a different ESC than I had on the Aurora. That one had a VL Heli um, Emax ESC. This one's a, what is it, a Power Up, I think. It's supposed to be a 32 bit one, but. It ain't liking it. Yeah, that's not like it whenever I get on the throttle, so. That's weird because in static at home, it sounds like it's yeah. running all right. Yeah, it's keep cutting out. Looks like it wants to go. Yeah, though. sounds like it does too. This definitely has a lot more torque roll than the Supernova because it doesn't have that thrust plate behind it. Yeah, see, it keeps cutting out. Yeah, I don't know what they're burning behind you, us. <laughs> this is like big old clouds back there. Did you bring the uh, program card? I don't think I did for this one. For that ESC. Might have to mess with the timing yeah. or something. I may change it out. Maybe I'll have to throw a Cobra ESC. Yeah, I might have that. to get an 80-amp Cobra ESC for it. Man, dude. And that's not even full throttle. Damn, that thing's ripping, man. Yeah, that was about three-quarter throttle, so we definitely need to get this. <laughs> it's definitely wanting to torque over, Damn, though. Man. I've given it a lot of trim. Where'd you go, man? There you are. Okay, you got yeah. me. Yeah, barely. There you are. Yeah, it's crazy how much that thrust plate makes a difference on the Supernova. So on Supernova, you really don't have any torque roll because the thrust blows right over that thrust plate and keeps it nice and level. You know, well, it that's does exactly. create more drag, but that was you know, pretty much why I designed it that way. I think that acts like a control surface yeah. too. You know? Yeah, definitely it does. Damn, dude, that thing is ripping, man. Yeah, I got a little closer to full throttle that time. Well, maybe you're dropping yeah, voltage, voltage is not going as high on the spike. Yeah, that's full throttle. Dang, camera's blurring. Okay. Oh, there, I got you. Again. Okay, Sally. All right, you might want to bring, bring it in. in. Yeah, I'm going to bring it in towards the shrink. I'm curious as the, what that GPS yeah. is going to say. Ooh. 
Man, that thing was like zooming though, yeah. man. <laughs> I think like it wants to go, man. Because... I think once you get that dialed in, that thing's yeah, gonna be fast, Yeah, I think fast, definitely man. got some torque wall in there. All right, so what's the GPS say, Paul? Uh, can you see that, Frank? It's 122.4 miles an hour. I think it's got more speed in yeah, it. Yeah, it definitely has more speed in it. Uh, I just need to get that ESC either changed out or tuned. Um, definitely when we had the fresh battery, it was cutting out. Um, we're not keeping up with the motor. How's the motor? Motor's hot? actually ice cold. That's cool. Is the ESC hot? No, ESC's cold. Oh, what about the battery? A little warm. Not bad. A little tiny warm, but not bad at all. Dang, dude. So, yeah, hopefully we can get this dialed in and uh, flying better. I, don't know, I probably need to change these funky ass um, servos too. I got them way up here and these rods are all flexible. They, you know, that was kind of before I knew what I was doing way back in the old days. Uh, so maybe I'll relocate some servos back here, get rid of all that flex and slop in it. Cool, man.